Happy New Year. Hey, I'm hoping that all of you all are having a great day on this New Year's Day and had a great holiday season. I thought, hey, even though I have a little bit of hangover, I want to make a video for you all. So here's an update on Miracle. So here's an update on Miracle. Yeah, literally the phone just fell, um, <laughs> but we're going to keep on going. So thanks and enjoy your day. Take care. <laughs> Hello, this is my update on Miracle. She's from the Pewter Fader. That's her mom. And it's a Who's Your Daddy clutch. I only had a banana inchy champagne possible sire or a leopard possible sire. And neither one, well, or neither of those genes are really in this animal. So I really think this is a cinnamon fader and I don't know what's causing the color the light color change here and I won't know until I breed her but it could be possibly just that fader gene expressing itself lighting up that pattern but it's making her look like a mo uh, Mojave I mean, what are your thoughts I haven't really seen much of what fader do to an animal which is a gene that comes from nerd you know Kevin found that gene he's the founder of the fader gene and that's where this female the mother comes from um, so I that's my best guess is the fader is lighting up these the cinnamon Or there could have been some Mojave lurking in that female. But I'll show you the female so you can see. And, and we just want to look at this girl a little bit more. She's going to start running. But she is beautiful. Very blushed out for a single gene cinnamon. So you can really see what the fader is doing. See the blushing going over the dorsal, breaking up the striping, floating alien heads. And the neck pattern is kind of getting pulled together on the other side. It's really hard for me to do the show. So this is a miracle, she's doing great. She started off very small. She eats every time. And I'm just really impressed with how this blushing is getting lighter with every shit. And I'm really looking forward to getting her up to size in a couple years and really seeing what she has going on with that fader. And uh, I don't know, it could be something else. Uh, lighting her patterns up that I didn't have in the mail. Um, like as you know, cinnamon leopard looks different than this. There's no banana. I don't see edgy. Maybe it's a very low expression edgy. Could be. But we'll find we'll have to find out who the parents in the future. I'm gonna pause this and show you mom. Here is Mama. Mama is a pewter fader. And you can really see that fader blushing coming through. Uh, it was more evident when she was young, when she was small. Because we know pewters kind of fade out over time anyway. But they also sort of brown out. This one is really keeping some really nice color and 
and uh, does not look anything like Miracle, so I know that's not a pastel influence on on Miracle, the baby. Um, just an awesome girl. I've been trying to pair her up with Inchi. That is 100% head for Sunset. I really want to get into that project. So, now you've seen Mom. Another look at Baby Girl. Very different, you see? She looked like Mojave so much to me. <laughs> Just blowing my mind. But that is, she came from her. And uh, that's all I have for you today. I'll show her belly. Her belly is very clean. It's not gonna be the easiest. She's really not trying to show her underside to you all. Um, I've even thought like maybe some yellow belly was in there. Uh, to bring that color top, that color palette out, but I, I don't know. I would have to breed and prove. But a happy New Year's update. That's fingers crossed hope for a really nice project with this girl. Alright, take care.